my first like live-in relationship was with a girl named Cassidy. I feel very um, strongly about this and I feel like it's okay for me to say her name because she's transgender now so she's not Cassidy no longer so I'm able to say her name because she's a once was person like Cassidy is no longer here anymore obviously I'm not gonna say his new name because we're talking about her transgender talk is too confusing so we're just gonna leave it as that um I still remember the first time she ever got physical we had a laundry room in the apartment complex we were living in and we were walking to the laundry room and I remember back then I would do our laundry for us I didn't really like people touching my laundry I still really don't but I let destiny do it because I trust her but I had this weird thing with like people touching my laundry whatever so um, she was helping me carry I guess laundry to the laundry room I don't remember really what we were arguing about but I know it must have been something really stupid probably about the laundry blah 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 and she was carrying her clothes I'm pretty sure I remember and I was like carrying mine and then I'm I want to say this happened it's been like six seven years so memories are kind of like fade in here and there but I do remember us being on the sidewalk and I remember her dropping what was in her hands and she took me by the throat and she started yelling at me. I was like, what? And I think at the time, what shocked me the most was the fact that she was doing it in such a public place. Like there was nobody around that I remember. And like, I was like crying. Like she literally was having me by the throat, just like screaming at me. And then, you know, she let go, obviously. And I think I was so shocked and so numb to the situation that I kind of just let it be. Honestly, that is the truth. I didn't ever think twice about it. Like, oh my God, is she going to start like abusing me? Nothing like that. Which is weird because of the childhood that I came from, right? But we just went on. And um, she never really did that again. She would randomly like pinch me if I made her really mad. And I didn't even think anything of that then either. Honestly, I didn't at all. And I wanna say, we've been together for about three years now at this point. And I feel myself slowly, I stopped being like sexually attracted to her. I loved her though. I know that. I don't know if it was like a best friend thing, but I stopped just feeling that like connection, I guess. So when it came to intimacy, I want to say about a little bit after like two years of being together, it started to dwindle. It was definitely my fault. This is when things, this would go on. This would happen probably weekly. Um, God, here are the tears. I was trying to be strong for this video. <laughs> um, a lot of people would ask, why didn't I hit her back? Why didn't I leave her in that, you know, in that stance? <laughs> I loved her um, because of it. And I know that the bad in my life made me wiser. And I'm able to key into people more. <sighs> I'm rambling. But just know that if you're in an abusive relationship, you're not alone. I've been there. And you deserve so much more for yourself. And I just figured I'd share this story with you guys. Because that is a big part of my life that I went through. Me and Cassidy were together for four years before I was like, eh, closing the door, I'm done. So.